I think it is very safe to say this is not deer meat, but it's 100% some sort of other animal or human meat. If I open it now, no, God damn it, don't, don't open it. Wait a minute, pause. Let's rewind this a little bit. Oh, no, no, hey, 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 stay right there, hey, hey. My name's Calvin McGinley, the seventh. Please! You have to my Yo! Oh my I got him! Get the axe! Oh! Let me see. Let me see. How bad, how, how bad is it? I just found it in school. If this is, by any chance, mm -hmm. human meat or something, then it's gonna obviously... Play your camera! Play back, please! <laughs> your boy just pulled up. Uh, I'm parked probably like 50 yards from the, the trail entrance. The good thing is I don't really have to go far into the trail because where the whole incident happened, I was only like a couple couple yards off the trail. We were literally almost at the street. So that's the good news. That's why I'm here by myself right now. I didn't want to bring any of my friends after what we all just went through. I think it's definitely just very selfish of me to ask any of them to come again. So I didn't even tell them I'm coming, but I'm here now and I definitely wanted to just go go take a quick glance at where the incident happened if there's a body there then i'm obviously gonna have to blur it for you guys but if there's not a body there then i am hauling ass out of here and i'm getting my ass home and we're instantly going to be testing that meat jar that i have but anyways i just wanted to update you guys i just pulled up to the road now and i'm about to head into the trail stay tuned please wish me luck Please wish me luck. You guys don't understand. I have not slept in like two days after filming all this stuff. I am beyond stressed out and I just need some prayers in the comments because I need some help from you guys. Please. You guys might not have seen my drone video when we were all the way down there like two miles. But pretty much this road is just nothing but woods for probably, I'm not going to exaggerate now, probably at least 100 miles of just a back road and woods. I don't even see any houses. There's one or two houses randomly placed in this area. Obviously there's the houses back in these woods where I'm parked outside of the trail right now. But in all honesty, after looking back at all this stuff and seeing what's going on, that this might not even be actual property. It might just all be abandoned. And that will also be worked out in my favor if that's the case. This is the beginning of the trail. This barbed wire here, I, I know you guys remember that from my first time exploring this place. This is the trail right here. Pretty sure I was only a couple feet in, so I just want to walk over, see if I see any type of body anywhere. There's gloves on the ground. And I definitely don't see a body where it happened. Pretty sure it happened right like over there maybe around here there's nothing here there's literally nothing here i just want to make sure real quick i'm gonna walk around just to make sure like he didn't crawl away and then you know die somewhere else but i don't see anything anywhere so yeah i don't know if i want to actually chance that at all that's the house where you know bodies are hanging so i'm not even gonna go check that out all right i'm getting out of here holy shit oh my god there's literally no one there i'm i don't know to be excited or scared i'm excited because i didn't freaking murder anybody but I'm also really scared because now I'm, I'm literally out front of the trail and don't know if these fucking inbred pussies are gonna run out here and try to kill me with a chainsaw or something. So I'm gonna just drive really, really far down this, down this road right now and pick the camera up after I make sure I'm in a safe spot because my heart is literally racing 
so fast right now. Woo! Being by yourself is a whole different experience. I know it's daytime, I shouldn't be that scared, but fuck. God, thank you so, thank you God, he survived. Oh my God, I, I, his, his face bones must be caved in, literally. I don't know how he's alive. That is such good news, I am so excited. I'll pick the camera up in one second. All right, sick, I'm a good probably two miles away from the trail entrance. <sighs> Guys, oh my God, you don't know how excited I am. There's, there's two things now. He's either going to the cops and he's going to press charges on me for literally beating him senseless. And I'll get into it from that, which is still a lot better than murdering somebody. Or he really is a cannibal serial killer and he's not going anywhere. He's going right back into those woods and doing whatever he was doing. Dude, only step from here now is to go home, meet up with everybody, try to figure out how we could test this meat. Dude, thank you so much. Thank you so much, every single one of you that are supporting me. Thank you so much. I, I love you guys, literally from the bottom of my heart. I feel like you're here with me and that's what makes every single day so much better for me. I so deeply, appreciate every one of you that are coming back every single day. Thank you so much. Fuck. I am so relieved and I'm about to go check up on Marino. I know I'm still an hour away from Tom's River, but I'm gonna go check up on Marino, hopefully meet up with all the other boys and tell them the news. They're gonna be pissed off that I came alone, but I'm gonna tell them the news and then we're gonna get this meat tested or try to find someone that can test this meat. That's the plan, hopefully it goes smoothly. Yeah, baby! I'm pumped. About to crack this Red Bull. Look, I'm drinking it with you guys. Gluk, 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 gluk. Give you guys a nice swig there because you're here with me on this journey. I'm not trying to get too excited yet. Definitely want to go test this meat. Definitely want to just go day by day. Stay tuned with me. I'll catch you guys when I get to the house. This is more than music. I can feel it. I'm reading y'all people like Dr. Feeling. And everybody ate because I just kill it. I'm the center of the stage. Y'all just feelings. I'm a G. I'm a G. Don't get it twisted. Believe I'm a C. All the dreams I wished up. Checks in my checking account. Boy, I be flexing them out. Got stacks. You got opinions, no facts. Got you while running in laps. Squad full of generals. No room for soldiers. So don't mess with us. But you know this. Swear I'm a grab. Hola, mijo. Hola, mijo. Hola. What's poppin', G? Dang, you really got the pimp walk, huh? Yeah, bro. I'm on pills right now with pain medicine, but I'm feeling how all many, right. How many pills a day? What like they got five. you Five. Damn, bro. That's not good. You got to get off that, bro. Nah, you bro, feeling good, though? You know what? I'm chilling, though, because, like, people are like, yo, how's your leg? I'm like, baby girl, I got that natural pimp walk. <laughs> <laughs> You're a clown, bro. Nah, but, yeah, what are we going to do about this whole situation? Well, we're going to find out now. I'm in a good mood right now because I'll tell you in a second, but I just wanted to make sure you're all right for the vlog Because everybody's worried about you. Is that you got blood on your toes still? No, I don't, oh, what's up mom? Hola. Hola Jake. Jake, did he really fell from his dirt bike? Can yeah. So yeah. No, I, I was riding and I just fell. I told you I fell already. I fell. I don't know how I fell. Like, I'm usually good at it, but. I no fell. more riding on that dirt bike, Brandon. No more. No more. Okay. And yeah. Say? Yeah. No mask. No, okay. I won't ride anymore. Bye. Bye. Bye, Jay. Dang, she mad as hell at you. <laughs> she mad as hell. We got the Lamborghini. Let Daddy open the door for you. We're taking this piece of shit right here. Bro, you can either take the Lamborghini or we can take your piece of shit over there. Whichever piece of shit you yeah, want, I we can know. take. Let me, show you, let, me show you, let, me, let me show you guys a little something, something about cars you guys don't know. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so this is the third car I build. I'm into cars and all that. So, let me guys show you a little something, something. Some people call me Elon Musk Jr. Right here I got no motor, you can tell. But hold on. Oh, that's that, that's that weight reduction right there. The motor's over there. So basically what I do is, I, I wanted a Tesla for the longest time I couldn't afford it. So I connect an extension cord from that motor to this motor. And I just push it, I push it down to that block. I run all the way back real quick, bring the motor closer to the car, and I push it again as far as like, the extension goes, and I, <laughs> and I bring the motor up again. Oh, word. But it's, it's an extra car, though, basically, if yeah, you think yeah, about yeah. it. Okay, so it's upgraded, I see. So, AKA, we're not taking this piece of shit today. We're taking my piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> we're meeting up with Polly and Tom at Tommy's house in like 45 minutes when they get off work. So, while we wait, I'm just gonna tell them another news now, but yo, I went to the trail this morning, bro. Before you start interrupting me and stuff, let me just get out. Dude, I went to the trail this morning by myself because I didn't want to bring any of you guys. 
Calvin's not there, dude. Oh my god, I feel I feel like Wait. so much weight is off of my shoulders. You're telling me you went back to the trail, dude, by yourself. Yeah, dude. But think about it. I am so blessed right now. So blessed. I feel so relieved. Like there's so much weight off my chest right now, dude. I thought I had a murder on my hands. There's nobody there, meaning he walked away. Oh, dude. Yeah, I went by myself, dude. I just felt like it was messed up for to bring you guys all back. I understand for me, but so I was just like, I know. I definitely understand for me. I really couldn't do anything much, but what could, it could have really took a left hand turn real quick. Oh that yeah, I know. That, that wasn't a smart play. Yeah, I just didn't feel like risking my friends' lives again. <laughs> so I just went and sent it myself. Felt it was something I wanted to figure out myself. You guys don't really give a shit if I'm going to jail for murder, but like, dude, I could not sleep for two days straight. I was like, dude, if I'm just going to go back. If you went murder, that means we would all go away from murder because you for conspiracy because we were all there and none of us said anything. Yeah. Whatever. That is the best. New I feel like we're being blessed, bro. Like, think about this. Obviously, some crazy stuff has been happening the past week, but. We're getting blessed with good news. Marino doesn't have a broken leg. Yeah, he has a badly chipped bone. And uh, he has like, what, 47 stitches? 47 stitches. 47 stitches in his leg. Like, he's going to be out of commission for a few weeks, however long the doctors say. He's going to be in that boot for a few weeks. But, dude, he could have easily had a broken bone and been out for way longer. I could have, you know, unfortunately could have ended that guy's life i mean obviously it was self-defense but at the same time the state of new jersey does not care about self-defense rule if you're on someone else's property so i could have been going away for second degree murder or whatever it would be for a long time dude i just feel like we're being like oh my god i'm so grateful yeah, having you guys here too just makes it so much better that definitely played to our favor right there that what? not i'm not being there anymore because yeah. now, now it's like, okay, did he get up and leave? Or did something else happen to him? But the bottom line is his body's not there anymore. What do you mean you know? something else happened to him? What else happened to him? <laughs> his, his brothers could have came, picked him up or something. You know what I'm saying? But the bottom line is, like, no one no one has said anything. No one, there's no reports or anything. I mean, yeah, yeah there's a chance that we get a call later. But the body's not there anymore. So we're just playing. Yeah. We're just playing by ear right now. Right now we're in the clear. Right now we're ready. We're, we're on a race against the clock right now. Because at any moment, our phones can ring and we're all going to jail. But we're still going to go first foot forward and we're just going to send it. We're getting Paulie and Tommy involved. Paulie hopefully can go on his computer or he knows somebody that can test the meat. We're, and we're going to do that ASAP. So whenever they get home from work in like 20 minutes, we're going to go meet up with them. And we're going we're gonna to figure this out. Dude, yeah, thank to, you guys for being here. I'm going to take a quick little shower, bro. I'm in the same clothes all day. All right, we're going to take a shower, I guess. That. Dude, Meisters, Polly G, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, what's up? 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 But, Polly, I'm praying that you either have somebody or found someone that can... Dude, there's nothing I can really do, man. I mean, just to get the blood tested alone, we're looking at, you know, several thousand dollars. It says right here it can range anywhere from $100 to $3,000, and that's just the blood. And then I'm looking up on Google, like, what to do if you find unidentified meat, which, you know, Google, that popped up pretty quick. I mean, you gotta get that shit fixed. <laughs> but I can't find anything, bro. Like, look at this. Like, it just keeps saying, like, what's your beef? How do you know when your meat is done? <laughs> that shit ain't done. So they, they yeah, said, wait, wait, hold on. They said $3,000 just for the blood? the blood? That doesn't hey, even involve dude, meat. Hey, we, can't, we can't bring it anywhere because they're going to be like, where'd you get it from? Yeah. And where are we going to say? I never thought about that at all. Uh, I never thought about uh, yeah, if that question comes up. We That's the whole and point of this. Came in, we came and walk in with like, yo, like, can you just test this blood out for your boy real quick? Like, and I asked what kind of blood it is. Like, oh, it's a, it's a human blood. I, we just, we don't know where it is. It's from my dog. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. So it's super difficult. We can't like go through an actual company. They're going to ask us way too many questions. We got to find someone that can do it like outside of actual company. You know what I'm saying? I got Dr. Grill outside, just throw some seasoning on it, grill it up real quick. I, perfect taste test. <laughs> we do a taste test to determine if it's human or not. How would you even know if it tastes like human? Dun, dun, dun. I plead the fifth. <laughs> nah, I was joking, but hey, pass this thing around real quick. 
I think we can all agree. That's that one. I ain't looked for we can one. all agree that this is not deer. Make sure that's not deer, bro. Bro, it's literally like you see like white stuff, green stuff around that. Like, like just show the camera right that piece right there. Like that right there is absolutely nasty. Like, ew! Don't <laughs> chill. Ooh, you're gonna, gonna make gonna yourself throw, throw up, bro. You're gonna throw up on me. I'm gonna throw back up on you. What do you think, Tommy? Deer or no? Dude, there's no way. It's just disgusting. All right, so that's two for four right now saying no deer. Over here. I'm not fucking looking at it. <laughs> I already know it's not deer. I'll fuck you up, bro. I'm not even kidding. All right, so three for... F okay, so pretty much we all already know this is not deer meat. It's kind of obvious. I just wanted to, you know, like elaborate for the camera a little bit. We all know it's not deer meat. I guess the main question is, is it like animal meat? Is it an animal meat or is it straight up just human meat? That's what we're like kind of going through right now. We don't know. We're not meat experts. We don't know if it, obviously it's not deer meat, but it could be like a different animal. So we're just trying to figure this stuff out, man. It's, it's way too stressful. And you know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments because frick, any help would work. $3,000 just to get blood tested. Imagine me going there with a whole jar with like a pint of blood and like a big chunk of meat. Couldn't even imagine how much that would cost. So that's definitely out of our budget. Not to mention that they would the definitely definitely gonna have to do an investigation. Exactly. Not even that, and then we start looking into why it might, about my injury, how I got hurt. Yeah, it's like, just it's not. It's not. I don't think it's ideal for us. We gotta find. We gotta find someone that knows what the hell they're doing. Paulie, you're supposed to know people. Come on, man, dog. Man, I, I might know a guy. I gotta make a couple phone calls. What are you freaking pawn shop? I mean, I might. I might he's know like, a guy. He's like, oh, I need to make a phone call. You guys call. saw my house. It's like Amazon up there. There might be a card with a name in there. I just got to go find it. You know, I just got to go get something. Dude, so if, dude, I just want to find this thing out, dog. Stop touching it. I think it is very safe to say this is not deer meat, but it's 100% some sort of other animal or human meat. If I open it now. No, God damn it, don't, don't open it. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Well, it's still right there. I got it. Better tell him. He's like, I work at Stanley Steamers. I got it. <laughs> Stanley Steamers makes your home cleaner. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's, there's that one guy that pretty much we could not go on the actual internet and get a company. So we're looking on like Craigslist and all this other stuff. Anybody that has like a home lab or anything Hold like on. that. Is that him? Yeah, Yo, Anthony, right? From Craigslist. You really have equipment to test this out? Can you be discreet? Yo, hopefully. You don't understand how big, like, what's going on is. Like, the picture, like, we have some crazy dude doing crazy things. We can't go to the police because, like, Jake's going to be in big trouble, bro. Yeah? Yeah? Jake, he said he'll do it. How much? Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. On God. On God. I got the chills. Dude, you're a lifesaver. I you're got literally the a chills. Lifesaver. Jake, Jake is, is literally standing up. He's <laughs> literally going full chub. Like he's he's literally Wait, when can you do it? Tuesday, do it? Wednesday, Thursday? Whenever we whenever we can. Okay, tell him uh what's today? What's today? Uh, Friday. Friday. Tell him this weekend. This weekend. We can go by. Saturday? Tomorrow? Yeah. Word. Two o'clock? Yes. Right. Yes. 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 Anthony, my man, dude, you're the best. I'll talk to you later. Thank you, Anthony. Oh my God, dude. I literally had the chills through my body. My mom told me to stay away from Craigslist. Craigslist? <laughs> I love you, Craigslist. I love you. I bought my first car from there. Yeah, well, there's a bunch of weirdos on Craigslist and serial killers on Craigslist, but it's worth it from this very moment. It is so worth it. Oh my God. This thing's getting tested. This thing's getting tested, bro. Let's go.